Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple but professional looking tax invoice in MS Publisher. Now, this will be for people who are starting a business, they're just starting out, they're keeping their costs down, they don't necessarily wanna be paying for a paid subscription uh, to do their invoicing, such as uh, Xero or QuickBooks. And so you wanna be able to send out a nice looking, professional looking invoice to your customers, even though you don't have software that generates the invoice as such. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that in Publisher. So if you've got a Microsoft Office subscription, um, or you've bought it outright, then you'll have access to this. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna zoom in here to 80% so we can see what we're doing a bit more. And the first thing we're going to do is import our logo. So we're going to go insert pictures. So you'll navigate to where you have your logo saved and here it is. We'll just drag it down to a smaller size. And that's gonna go on the top right here. We'll make that a little bit smaller again. And the beauty of Publisher, guys, is that you can move things around. Um, you can drag and drop to where you want it to be. You can change the sizes of things very easily. So you don't have to get it right the first time and you can make adjustments at any time. Now we're going to put in a text box. And this is going to say tax invoice. I'm gonna make that 28. Make that logo a little bit smaller. Okay. Now we wanna put in another text box and we're gonna put in our details here, the from details. So we'll have our address. I'm going to go, instead of going enter and creating that space in between here, if you get between the, where the text is here and where the new line is, I'm gonna go shift enter to bring the next line in up close to where the first line was. So we want less gap in between our lines here, but you don't have to do that, that's just how I like it. Uh, 123 Main Street, your town. Same thing, shift enter. And our ABN. So I might actually move this over a little bit. And we're gonna make this 12 font. I think 10's a little bit small. Drag that down, there we go. Now we're going to put in the details of who the invoice is going to. So I'm just tabbing over here, customer name, invoice number, first one, 001, reference, this can be anything like a job code or something like that. Date, due date, and I'm gonna make this size 12 again. And what we're gonna do as well, we're just gonna drag it so it's equal height to our address on the right here. You can see that orange line or that pink line going right across the screen. So it's equal height here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put a border in, a little bit of graphic to make it look a bit nicer. 
So we're going to go borders and accents. Uh, and you can scroll down and find anything that you like here. So I'm going to go of this one. I'm going to drag it down. We've got to make it the size of the page. This can go up a little bit. and go down a bit. And this is gonna be the body of the invoice here. I don't really like that orange, so I'm gonna change the color of that. Format objects. I'm gonna go over dark blue there. Or is that a navy blue? I don't know, you tell me. So I think that looks a bit nicer. Okay, so now we're going to enter the details of the actual invoice. So what I'm going to do is draw a text box in here and I'll put in my headers description I'm tabbing over quantity and of course this can be anything depending on your business you can set it out exactly how you'd like it uh, the unit price amount We're going to bold that, and we're going to make it 12. And then we put in the details of the services provided. So service one, let's say the quantity of this particular type of service was two, the unit price was 100, so the amount is 200. Service two, Quantity one, 500, the amount 500. And of course, if you don't like the alignment of how this looks here with the quantities underneath the quantity header, you can tab this stuff over, or rather spacebar it over, you know, to put it to where you like to see it. We enter down a couple lines, we're gonna tab over to the amount column, or rather, the quantity column and we're going to put in the bottom section now subtotal which is our 200 plus our 500 so that's 700 tabbing over uh, GST if you're in Australia if you're in the UK it'll be a VAT a VAT or if in, in the US you might have a sales tax 70 because GST in Australia is 10 percent for a total amount of 770. We're going to bold that and pretty much the last thing we have to do now is enter in our bank details so we can get paid. So what we're going to do now is do another text box down the bottom here. And then we'll have our BSB. Our account number. And of course, our account name. tab these over so they all line up and then I'll make that 12 drag that down so it fits uh, there we go and I'll put in one more little text box for our payment terms whatever they happen to be. And I'll just drag this over so it lines up with the bank details. And there you pretty much have it guys. Just a really simple little invoice template that anyone can do to get your invoices out to your customers looking half decent. So all we have to do now is export it to PDF. 
And here it is, your exported PDF. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope I've shown you a few little tricks here. I mean, it's all very easy. It's a simple way, it's a, a, a way to get a professional finish on your uh, invoice template and to get your business up and running if you're in the early stages and you're looking to keep your, your expenses down. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.